Did you know it's much harder to warm up air on muggy days than it is on dry days? It still feels hot, but with more things in the air, there's more things to warm up. Have you ever boiled a pot of water and noticed how long it takes? That's why they say a watch pot never boils. At the same time, if you're going to fry something in a pan, the pan actually heats up rather quickly. That's because water has a higher specific heat. That's the amount of energy it takes to raise the temperature of something by one degree Celsius. Dry air on its own can warm up and cool down rather quickly, much like the frying pan. But once you add water in the form of humidity, it takes much more energy to warm that same amount of air. We can show this to you with a very simple experiment, but this experiment uses fire. So we have our safety glasses and, of course, a responsible adult. My mom's over there. We have one balloon filled up with just air. One balloon has just a little bit of water, and one balloon is filled with water. And for this, we also have a flame. So this candle is going to help us do the work. This one makes a mess, so it's better to do outside. Oh, yeah. First, we take our balloon with a low specific heat. That's the one that just has air in it. And we slowly lower it to the flame. It pops almost instantly. The heat from the flame hits the balloon, causing it to break. The balloon filled with a little bit of water is actually a lot different. We can hold it almost directly onto the flame, but it doesn't break instantly. The heat energy is transferred from the flame through the balloon into the water. Since it takes a lot more energy to warm that water up, it actually helps save the balloon. The flame's heat travels through the balloon and transfers into the water. Eventually, it is going to pop, but you can see it takes a lot longer and a lot more heat energy to make the balloon with just a little bit of water pop. The balloon that's actually filled completely with water, that actually takes a lot longer to pop, but just know it will, and it will make a mess. Now, in the atmosphere, not all the water is collected together to transfer the heat like it is inside the balloon. But it does show that the moisture makes a big difference in how hot the air gets. Even though it slows down the warming process, the extra moisture actually slows down your body's cooling process, making it feel hotter outside. You can learn more about the science of sweat by going to kdka.com and searching Hey Ray. Reporting from home, I'm Elizabeth Petlin. And I'm meteorologist Ray Petlin.